It was because of our strong Christian faith that our founders were so willing to welcome those of other faiths to America. Our founders knew the truth of Christianity, and they believed that Christianity would prevail on its own merits without the need for force or coercion. As explained by Thomas Jefferson, Truth can stand by itself. Why subject opinion to coercion to produce uniformity? Is uniformity attainable? Millions of innocent men, women, and children since the introduction of Christianity have been burnt, tortured, fined, imprisoned, yet we have not advanced one inch towards uniformity. What has been the effect of coercion? To make one half the world fools and the other half hypocrites. If there be but one right religion and Christianity that one, we should wish to see the 999 wandering sects gathered into the fold of truth. But against such a majority, we cannot effect this by force. Reason and persuasion are the only practicable instruments. To make way for these, free inquiry must be indulged. And how can we wish others to indulge it while we refuse it ourselves? Consequently, our founding fathers openly acknowledged and welcomed the presence of numerous religious groups in America, including Buddhists, Muslims, and Jews. In fact, Dr. Benjamin Rush, a signer of the Declaration and one of the most evangelical Christians among the founding fathers, openly declared, such is my veneration for every religion that reveals the attributes of the deity or a future state of rewards and punishments that I had rather see the opinions of Confucius or Muhammad inculcated upon our youth than see them grow up wholly devoid of a system of religious principles. But the religion I mean to recommend in this place is that of the New Testament. And while describing a federal parade in Philadelphia, Dr. Rush commented, the rabbi of the Jews locked in the arms of two ministers of the gospel was a most delightful sight. There could not have been a more happy emblem. And Elias Boudinot, a president of Congress during the American Revolution, served as president of the Society for Ameliorating the State of the Jews, and he made personal provision for bringing persecuted Jews to America. This tolerance for other faiths and religions, however, did not alter or negate the fact that America was founded by Christians on Christian principles.